Today, we're going to use models to determine the formula for the perimeter of a rectangle. The formula that we will implement will be length plus width plus length plus width. To find the perimeter of a rectangle, we have to add the length and width of each side. Let's look at this rectangle. One side of this rectangle measures 8 centimeters. So the opposite side, or the parallel side, will also measure 8 centimeters. The width of this rectangle is 4 centimeters. Again, since both sides are the same width, the opposite side will also measure 4 centimeters. The relationship between the length and width of the sides of a rectangle is that opposite sides or parallel sides of a rectangle are the same. Now, let's incorporate our formula for the perimeter of a rectangle. We're going to add 8 centimeters plus 4 centimeters plus 8 centimeters plus 4 centimeters. Again, the length, which was 8 centimeters, plus the width of one side, which was 4 centimeters, plus the length of the opposite side, which was 8 centimeters, plus the width of the opposite side, which was 4 centimeters, equals 24 centimeters. Therefore, the perimeter of this rectangle is 24 centimeters. Now, let's do another example, but this time, let's incorporate a word problem. Miss Smith wants to create a space for a math center in her classroom. She has an allowance of approximately 30 feet for the math center. The length of one side of the space is 8 feet, and the width of one side of the space is 5 feet. Will Miss Smith have enough feet for her math center? Let's see. Here's a model of the space in Miss Smith's classroom. The length of the space is 8 feet, and the width of the space is 5 feet. Remember, opposite sides of a rectangle are parallel. So if the length of Miss Smith's available space is 8 feet, then the opposite side or the parallel side will also measure 8 feet. The width of Miss Smith's space is 5 feet. So the opposite side or the parallel side will also measure 5 feet. Now, again, let's incorporate our formula for the perimeter of a rectangle. The length, which is 8 feet, plus the width, which is 5 feet, plus the length, which is 8 feet, plus the width, which is 5 feet, equals 26 feet. So Ms. Smith will have enough space for her new classroom math center. 